I got a lip tattoo. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. You're probably only here because you want to hear about my tattoo, and I can totally give you all of the information that you want to hear. At least I hope so. If I can't answer all of your questions, even though no one fucking asked, just leave a comment, and I'm gonna leave an answer. So, I got a lip tattoo. It's my very first tattoo. I'm 19 years old. Just some basic info. <laughs> and I thought since nobody fucking asked. I would do a video about it. So I'm just gonna state like some basic facts. Oh, so where did I get it done? How much did it cost? Did it hurt? I don't know. Something along the lines of all of that. <laughs> so first of all, where did I go to get the tattoo? I went to Stuttgart in Germany, which is like two hours from where I live. Um, why did I travel that far? I know people go way further for a tattoo, but like this is my first tattoo and it's really small. I could have gotten it done. Somewhere way closer to where I live, um, but my friend saw an ad of the tattoo studio <coughs> on Instagram and they had this special deal that if you wrote them some kind of code then you would get a small tattoo for 50 euros instead of like 80 or something like that and we thought well that sounds great, we did want to get a small tattoo anyway, so we went there and it was like really easy, we just, there was like the little reception and there was a lady sitting there and we just had to explain to her real quick what we wanted to get done and where and so we told her we wanted to get a tattoo on our lips and she was like, okay, <laughs> which was a bit weird, like why would she say something, I don't know, like, obviously she can like and dislike whatever kind of tattoo she wants to, but it just seemed to me like, I don't know, if I were a different kind of person, I might have been like really repelled by her reaction and be like, okay, I don't want to get a tattoo done here if you're going to react like that. So it seemed a bit counterproductive to me. Um, but since we are two shy little bitches that would never in our lives speak up for some to something like that, we got it done anyway. Also, I don't know, it was just two letters, so I can show you, like, right here. It looks like this. It's actually not that faded out. Uh, it just looks like it because the light is reflecting on my saliva. Obviously, also, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. I sent this one to my mom. <laughs> The price, like I already said, it was 50 euros, but that's a special offer. I don't think you would usually get that price in a professional tattoo studio. And that one was, like, it seemed pretty professional to me. <laughs> um, so I don't know, maybe you can look out for some deals on Instagram as well. Uh, but usually I think you would have to pay around 80 euros. What did I actually get tattooed? I don't know if you could see that really well. Ah, why am I sticking on my tongue? <laughs> but it does say FQ, which is the name of my friend's group, and my other friend also got that tattooed on the exact same spot. Also, this is not supposed to last forever, so if we ever decide to not be friends anymore, maybe the tattoo fades away as well, but maybe it doesn't actually, I really don't care. I think it would be really cool if it just sat there forever. <laughs> and uh, so the pain, I think the pain is actually what most people are interested in. Like everyone that I showed the tattoo to was like, the tattoo to was like did it hurt or how much did it hurt and so my friend got it done first and she said hers did hurt quite a bit so at first she felt almost nothing but then she said that the tattoo artist went over it again and again and it was like it was scratching into her skin which I mean in a way it kind of is <laughs> um, and that did hurt quite a lot so then after her I went in and I was like, mm, this is gonna hurt and then the two artists again started doing the two letters and I was like, okay, so now the pain's gonna come, like the one when he goes over it again and it just did not hurt at all, like obviously like I felt something and it wasn't the most comfortable feeling but I, I don't know, did not hurt but I do have quite a high pain tolerance so maybe you should rely more on my friend um, but then again this did not take more than five minutes like maybe like even three minutes but probably like five I don't know but it, 
it was done really really quickly so i would rate the pain like a two maybe like even a one out of ten 1.5 because it wasn't comfortable but like didn't hurt there are i think different ways that you can get the tattoo done i think there's one way you put your chin on somewhere and then they pull it down or they have something to pull it down but for me it was just like sitting on the chair and i had to pull it down like this and then and hold it and honestly it's kind of slippery <laughs> so he did the tattoo artist did the ass and then he went to get new ink and that's when my fingers were on the verge of just letting it slip down um, but then I just grabbed it again what am I supposed to do now so I'm not supposed to drink alcohol for like two weeks and um, because that's just gonna kind of like rub it off in a way <laughs> or it's like not gonna make it last that long and it's really important that you take care of the tattoo well in the first few weeks or months that you got it because if you don't, it's gonna vanish way sooner. I'm not supposed to smoke for like two weeks, which is fine by me because I don't smoke. <laughs> also, you're not supposed to do any unnecessary sucking. <laughs> so like, don't drink from straws or just try to eat your food at the back of your mouth and also like put it right into the back of your mouth and not at the front so just try to not have anything come close to the tattoo and also you are supposed to leave your mouth open a bit just so your mouth kind of like dries out you're gonna have a dry mouth for quite a while after you get this just because you're supposed to leave it dry and because that is also going to make it last longer and also heal faster try to leave your mouth open or maybe even leave it like that you're not supposed to do any kissing um, which I think is like the least of my concerns <laughs> yeah I think that's it actually um, how long is it supposed to last? I don't know I don't know, for some people it does actually last forever, it just fades out a bit. I've seen people say that it's lasted for 8 to 10 years um, and like they still have it so it's probably gonna last for a long while still and some people say it lasted only a few months, a few weeks, I don't know, so just take care of your tattoo. Like I said I'm gonna do an update in a few months or so and show you if it's still there. <laughs> And what I'll do, I do plan on getting more tattoos because I really really like them but I don't care about it if it has that much of a meaning, I just want it to look cool. Until then, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope this was somewhat informative, I will see you again in another one. So please subscribe if you like this and leave a like, leave a comment, if you leave a dislike please tell me why <laughs> and goodbye!